Creating a live panel. The main steps to the creation of a live panel are the shooting of the photos to create your panorama, plus the filming of your video from the same viewpoint and ideally with the same equipment, creation of the resources in Autopano Giga for live panel, including a frame taken from the video to be able to place it correctly, and lastly, the integration of the live panel into the panorama in Panotor Pro. This last step will be dealt with in a separate video. As a reminder, when you regroup the resources needed to create a live panel, you will have on one side the images used for the creation of the panorama and on the other, your video. The first thing you'll have to do is open your video, pause it, and then take a frame by going to the video menu and selecting Take a Snapshot. This will be used when creating the panorama. Now we have our frame, which we will add to the folder with the photos and detect the panorama in Autopano. Add the frame back to the group of photos. In the image properties, Switch the frame's lens type to fisheye. This will force the calculation to add the frame into the panorama. Start the detection. Let's check the result of the stitching. It looks pretty good. Now we're just going to do a quick check of the usual details like the vertical lines. A little check on the door. These are little optimization tricks for your panorama. Add another vertical line on the wall. In the layers editor, you can see your frame in the list of images used. Uncheck it, but do not delete it. Save the project file. And now render the panorama by going in the render settings, set the output size to a nice rounded number and start the render. We can close the project. Now we have everything we need to integrate the live pano in Panotor Pro. Our source photos, the frame, the project file, and the finished panorama. And kept separate, the video file for the live pano.